Welcome back. Minus 13, 930. You're still here with us on CP24 Breakfast Weekend. We still have one more exciting half hour to go. Good morning. I'm Kayla Williams. I'm Arda Zakarian. Here are the stories we are following this morning. Police and volunteers are pitching in to help the city's homeless today. Here is a live look. It's the 20th annual Project Winter Survival. It provides sleeping bags and other essentials for people in need during the cold weather. CP24's Christy Bazaire joins us live with the details. Christy, what's going into these kits? I'm going to show you, Arda. We actually have a deconstructed kit right here. And this kit shows exactly what's going inside. So you can see that there's winter hats, there's uh, sleeping bags, there's backpack, there's some of all of the essentials that people need to make sure that they're safe in the cold weather and essentials that uh, you really can't live without to have good hygiene, to stay healthy. And I'm going to bring in Jody Steinhauer. She's actually the founder of Project Winter Survival. And Jody, you've got so many volunteers here. They've already packed over 500 boxes. They're moving so quickly. It's kind of unbelievable to have, see how fast they're doing things here. Um, and you were saying that the need this year is really up. Uh, this is our 20th year. We've never seen it so bad. This year, over 21,000 kits were asked for. The largest it's ever been in 19 years has been 13,000 kits, so we need more help. What does that say to you as a homeless advocate here in the city of Toronto? We should not be doing this. I'm a business owner, and the numbers have gone from nine to 9,000 homeless people from 6,000 in only a year. Short term, we need 1,000 shelter beds open now. Long term, we need affordable housing and support services. I do not want to be doing Engage and Change Project Winter Survival next year. You have quite a few volunteers. How many of them are out here doing this with you today? There's over 110 people here. They're not just volunteers. They've invested money to be here, and their companies have invested money for them to make a difference in the local community. I love the competition that you have going to. And people are dancing, they're moving, and they're making the most out of this. Obviously, we don't want anyone to be in a situation where they need one of these kids, but I think that people can feel good knowing that they're trying to make a difference. Um, it's, it's a well-oiled machine that you have up running here, isn't it? It's a well-oiled machine, and what you don't see outside is we've got another 40 people outside, freezing cold, unloading sleeping bags out of a trailer. So this afternoon is when it really gets hard. We go outside and we load up over over 210 homeless shelters that we propose in vehicles so they have the tools to make sure that if somebody is choose to sleep outside, they will not freeze for the next couple months. But we need help. We don't have enough. Okay, Jody, thank you, and we appreciate thank what you. you do. This is quite amazing. Um, so, Arda, these volunteers are not going to stop working. Their goal is to pack 3,000 kits in the next two hours, and then they're going to hand out these kits today on the streets. They're also giving them and supplying them to 210 frontline agencies that that will help hand them out to those in need as well. Back and to you. At the pace they are going, I'm sure they'll meet that deadline in no time.